Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This noon hour, I rise with a mixture of sorrow and pride to present this re resolution in honor of the Coptic Christians who were led in their orange jumpsuits down to the beach where they still proclaiming their faith faced execution and they faced it with the name of Jesus Christ on their lips and the strength that they had in their faith to not renounce it is something that I think we all could take a good reflection on ourselves and think of the ways that we live and that we honor our convictions. These Coptic Christians trace their histories to Alexandria, Egypt during the Apostolic Age and now are considered a religious minority. The Coptic Christians constitute a, the single largest group of foreign workers in Libya where they have been targeted and singled out by militant extreme, extremists solely for their faith. In February of 2015, the terrorist organization ISIS released a video showing the mass beheadings of 21 captive Egypt, Egyptian Coptic Christian men. In their last moments while being forced to kneel on a Libyan beach, some of these individuals can be heard professing their Christian faith to their very last breath. One week after their horrific executions, these men were officially recognized as the 21 Coptic martyrs of Libya, and each of their names were entered into the Coptic Synaxarium. Moving forward, the martyrdom of these canonized men will be commemorated annually as part of the Coptic Orthodox Church calendar. Today, I ask each of my House colleagues to pay tribute to these brave martyrs, not only by voting in support of House Resolution 190, but also by wearing orange on Wednesday, April 8th, 2015, three days after Resurrection Sunday. By wearing the, the color orange, we can send a message to all that we are standing in solidarity with those Coptic Christians who were forced to wear those orange jumpsuits while proclaiming Lord Jesus Christ as their savior before they were beheaded. Again, thank you in advance for your support of House Resolution 190.